Let's move on to our second main topic today. Chris, what is our second main topic today? This one comes from uh, Patreon supporter Jacob Gannon. This question is a two-parter. Do you think the Suicide Squad is a foolish name for a sequel to Suicide Squad? I feel like it'll definitely confuse people. Also, if the purpose of it is to make people forget about the original, isn't that not smart? Because WB Air Ayer's Suicide Squad did phenomenal at the box office and was a hit with younger, less critical audiences. Thoughts? <laughs> less critical audiences. That sounds like a way of saying stupid people. <laughs> <laughs> And by the by the way, I'm I'm one of the guys that liked Suicide Squad. I liked Suicide Squad. I I look, the Suicide Squad was a hot mess. I, I mean that's that's what I always come up with. It, it it's it is a hot mess mm -hmm. that movie. But to me, the fun things about it outweighed the negative things about it. I had fun with it and I had a good time with it. Getting to the first part of the question, number one, I don't know if anybody's made it one hundred percent official that it's the final title of this movie is going to be The Suicide Squad. I, I don't know that anybody has kind of thrown that out there yet at this point, but it is what at least they're kind of making it the working title uh, at this point at any rate, because if you go to like the IMDb page right now, it's The Suicide Squad. Is it going to confuse audiences? No, it's not going to confuse audiences. No, no one's going to have a problem with that. No one's going to be like, oh, my brain's melting. I don't get it. Now, look, I'm also the type of guy, though, I prefer sequential movies in a series to just use numbers. Like I like Iron Man, Iron Man 2, Iron Man 3. It makes it very easy 10 years from now when you're talking about films and all that kind of stuff, you know exactly which films you're talking about. So I prefer that, but no, I don't think the whole notion of the Suicide Squad is gonna confuse anybody. <clears throat> but let's not, let's not look back historically with rose-colored glasses here and pretend that Suicide Squad was some kind of beloved film, it wasn't. There were people like me who enjoyed it, but it was not a beloved film. Uh, it, it had some fans. I was one of them, but I'm not going to pretend like I was in the majority. I was not. I was in the minority. I was in the absolute minority of that. And I can understand why a lot of people didn't like it, but it did do well. It overperformed. It made north of $700 million, which is fantastic by any standards. I mean, that that's great, but yeah, you do kind of want to let people forget or move on from that original one because it did have, look, the first film had a lot of problems and there, it had a lot of detractors and all that kind of stuff, even though I had fun with it. So number one, I don't think it's that bad of an idea, even if they call it the Suicide Squad, which we don't know 100% that's going to be the final title. And number two, it's also not a bad idea to try to get people to move on from that first suicide because while, as in any movie has some fans, a lot of people, even a lot of the diehard DC fans will will probably put Suicide Squad at the bottom of their list. So, no, I don't think that's a problem either. And I don't think that undermines people like me who did enjoy the Suicide Squad either. So that's my thoughts. Rob, how would you answer that? Well, we could run a contest, you know, to name Suicide Squad. Like maybe we could call it a Suicide Squad Runs Through It or Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Suicide Squads. <laughs> You know, I, I don't know. I like that first one, The Suicide Squad Runs <laughs> Through, and I like that. Runs through. But, you know, look, I hated the first Suicide Squad. I, I didn't have fun with it. I thought it was the worst edited big-budget movie I've ever seen, and then I found out, oh, it was edited by a trailer company. I mean, it drove me bananas, and I thought it really underserved the, what was a great cast, and I, I, I found it to be incredibly disappointing. So, for me, the only direction they can go is up. And uh, mm -hmm. I'm I'm very very excited to see this movie. I I think it's it's so in James Gunn's wheelhouse, and I think ultimately, John, they're not going to call it the Suicide Squad. I think they're going to call it Suicide Squad. You know, something Electric something something. Boogaloo. <laughs> Elect yeah, suicide, that, why not? Because <laughs> James Squad Gunn too. could call a movie Suicide Squad Two <laughs> Electric Boogaloo and get away and with get it. away with it. So so I uh, although I still think you should call it a Suicide Squad runs through it, and the poster could be they're all running. <laughs> You know, towards something. Uh, but uh, I, I don't know. I, you know, I'm excited about this movie. I never thought I'd be excited about a movie whose first movie I hated. But mm -hmm. I'm really excited about this movie. And I like the cast. I, obviously, I love what James Gunn does. And whatever they call it, whatever it might be called, even if it's The Suicide Squad, I will go see this movie. I can't wait to see it. I want to see it with a big audience. So here's an interesting thing, too. We got to keep in mind about this as well. With... Um, uh, the first Suicide Squad, there was a lot of stories going around that, that the studio you know, locked David Ayer out of the editing room at some points and blah, blah, blah. When James Gunn became a free agent, 
with that whole fiasco, the way Disney botched that whole situation and they let him go, and thankfully they later corrected and brought him back. But let's not forget, everybody, every player in this town was lining up at James Gunn's door trying to get him to sign up to make their films. And they were throwing everything at him. You want to make this? You want to make this? You want to make this? <clears throat> I guarantee you, because he was in demand, it was a buyer's market for him. Uh, he's got stipulations in place that whatever they're going to do with Suicide Squad, it's going to be his Suicide Squad. Like, I'm sure, as is appropriate, once he get, got his outline of what he wanted the movie to be, I'm sure he sat down with the execs and got everybody on board. And once they got on board with his vision for it, now they're going to go let him go make his movie. And <clears throat> that's how it should be, by the way. Like, the filmmakers, the execs should all get on board with what the movie's idea is and what direction they're going with it. Get on board with it then. Then you let the director go and make their movie. And if the director starts changing the movie from what you agreed to, then maybe you step in. But otherwise, if you've already agreed to it, let him make. And I think one of the big differences between the first Suicide Squad and this one is they're going to let James Gunn do his thing. And then when it comes out, we'll have no... If it's a bad movie, we got to point the finger at James. And if it's great, which I think it'll probably be, then we give a lot of credit to James. And uh, then we can look forward to him going on and making a Marvel movie and maybe then coming back and doing another DC movie at some point. The possibilities are endless. Question is, guys, what do you think about that? Do you think it's going to cause some confusion if they call the Suicide Squad the Suicide Squad? Do you think they should try to draw people's attention to the original one or try to kind of shy away from it? What's your thoughts on that? Jump into the comments section below and let us know your thoughts.